Well, National Colorectal Cancer Awareness Month is every March, giving health care providers the opportunity to share vulnerable, life-saving information with the public on the importance of being screened. And here with more is colon and rectal surgeon with Memorial Hermann and UT Health, Dr. Scott McKnight. Dr. McKnight, welcome to Houston Life. Thanks for spending time with us today. Let's talk about uh, risk. Who is at risk, most at risk for colon cancer? Sure. And to your first point, the, the key really is screening uh, because this is such a preventable and treatable disease. Uh, the biggest risks we see are in patients who have an inactive lifestyle, uh, the obese patients are overweight. Uh, we think there's some dietary contribution as well. Uh, people who eat a lot of red meat, uh, processed meats can contribute, uh, patients who smoke, uh, moderate to heavy alcohol use. And then we do typically see it in um, patients over the age of 50. And that's the rate of diagnosis, interestingly, has been decreasing since the mid 80s. But we are seeing an increase in people under the age of 50. And so the recommended screening age has changed. So when we talk about colorectal cancer, I really think a lot of people have this fear that goes along with it that, you know, it's a part of the body they don't want to talk about or maybe the symptoms isn't exactly a conversation to them. The bottom line is if you are developing any kind of these signs and symptoms, you need to talk to somebody about that, right, doctor? And you need to let's just go over some of the signs and symptoms so everybody sort of has that same page. Sure. Um, absolutely. The the interesting thing is, is by the time you develop these signs and symptoms, uh, it probably is or could be more advanced. It may not be just a simple polyp that could have been taken care of. But to your point, things like blood in the stool, a change in your bowel habits. So if you're, you know, go once or twice a day and now you go every other day or every third day, which is an acute change. If you start to have abdominal bloating, abdominal pain, maybe your weight has changed. Maybe you've lost weight unintentionally. All those can be signs of a colon cancer and absolutely it should be evaluated but you may start by talking to your primary care physician um, and then they could direct you either to a gastroenterologist or to a colorectal surgeon like myself we talked about some of the risks uh, you mentioned diet uh, lack of exercise smoking so is prevention just as simple as making some of these lifestyle changes it can be i mean there's some things that are unavoidable like age uh, family history uh, those things you cannot change and so we do recommend screening for people who have absolutely no symptoms uh, and that's that really is the key is asymptomatic screening and we should also stress the the treatment obviously it's very uh, it's based on um, the person who is going through this but if caught early this is curable for sure and that's really one of the beauties of colorectal cancer it is so treatable uh, if we can catch it at the level of a polyp before it be turns into a cancer, it can be removed simply with colonoscopy. Uh, if it gets to the point to where you need surgery, uh, we have great surgical options. Uh, I'm a big proponent of robotics, uh, minimally invasive techniques to remove uh, colon cancer. And uh, but yes, there are some excellent treatment options. Dr. Scott McKnight, thanks so much for your time today. Thank you both. Appreciate it. And for more information, you can visit memorialherman.org slash cancer or call 713-222-2273.